Welcome back. This is Alien 3 for the Mega Drive, a, uh, a particularly well-liked Mega Drive game. And, I mean, just from the title music alone, I already really like this game. Uh, I didn't play this at the time, um, and I didn't see the movie at the time either, because I was far too young. Uh, and I actually only watched the movie a few nights ago, actually, uh, in preparation for this. And the movie is a weird one to make a game out of, because... There really isn't a lot of action going on until probably, you know, the the last quarter of the movie, the last third of the movie. Very little happens at all, to be honest. Um, so I'm quite surprised that they made this kind of big, uh, bombastic kind of action game. So, I've played this a couple of times and it is pretty difficult. So in order to actually show you enough of the game that it's worth me doing this, I'm going to give myself a lot of lives and make it easy. So the first thing I'll say about this game, the music is amazing. Um, so the concept of the game, very simple. You've got a time limit at the top and a number of survivors to try and rescue. Um, and there you go. You can see them up there writhing around in what I'm hoping is alien goo. Oh, Christ. And you've got a shitload of aliens. Which is kind of funny, because I think there's only really one alien in Alien 3? Um, yeah. But that's beside the point. You're playing as Ellen Ripley, and here we go. Oh, Jesus. So first things first. This game is kind of brutally difficult. I was kind of shocked when I first started playing it uh, a couple of weeks ago. Because, effectively... The time limit up there is your is enough time for you to. Oh Christ. It's enough time for you to rescue all of the survivors and escape, and that's what you got to do for each level. And you know, six minutes is not a long time to rescue eight eight people. Find your way around this level, and escape. Oh, I'm using pipe bombs all of a sudden. Uh, grenade launcher. So you get multiple weapons that you can attack with. I, my personal preference is the grenade launcher. I think the grenade launcher is, is the weapon. Uh, I have problems with this game. I think it's amazing. I think it's a great little platformer. That, that doesn't help. But cheap stuff like that. Of, I know it's trying to recreate the experience of the movie. But the concept that an alien can essentially come out of nowhere irritates me quite a bit down there so I'm not bothered about that. Uh, let's go up top first. Get that guy. Oh I should have shot the alien. I've done it again. <laughs> it's been I will say it's been a week or two since I played this so I have completely forgotten all of the uh, the tricks to getting this level to work. I need to go up here first. So I need to rescue. So you get a lot of that. Essentially aliens crawling out of the ground and jumping at you. And I don't think the controls have quite enough responsiveness for you to be able to react to that. And uh, I mean, whether or not this is emulated, I think that's a big kind of flaw with my, you know, that's one of the things I don't like about this game is that I don't think it's a particularly fair fight. Um, that being said, once I'd played these levels sort of six, seven times, I was getting pretty good at them. Um, but then I realised that there are 14 levels or something to this game, <laughs> whereas I was kind of sitting here thinking, oh, if, you know, if there's six levels, and the, the thing with the difficulty is it's just, you know, they're short levels, but you need to get really good at them. No, there's like 14 levels. They've all got time limits, they've all got people to survive. I think that's kind of, in terms of difficulty today, I think that's kind of nuts, but I guess at the time it was much more acceptable. Um, but again, I think the, the, the game is kind of worth 
the difficulty. I actually found myself, after the first couple of goes where I was getting quite frustrated with getting essentially... <laughs> See, I just don't think you get enough time when they come on screen to actually attack them. It just leads to you being super conservative. Or going all guns blazing and just hoping that you make it through. Oh, there's an alien here. Okay. On there. Ah, Jesus Christ. It's a shame because I really like the gameplay. Uh, apart from that one bit where the aliens are nearly impenetrable to hit. <laughs> In terms of timing it, it's just so brutally difficult. And so the reason I chose to play this on easy is that you get a lot more ammo and a lot more health. So I feel like I can kind of scrub my way through more than one level and actually show you some more of the game. Um, this would be a very boring video if it was just me playing the first level over and over again for the next 25 minutes. You can't shoot sideways off a ladder, which is, I think, kind of sucky. God, I can't lose much health here. I'm missing... Oh no, there we go, I've got them all. So once you get them all, you have to find the exit, which is an interesting uh, proposition. Luckily, I've played this level about a billion times, so now I know where they are. Also, the level done music is pretty good. So this was put out by Acclaim um, and developed by Probe Entertainment, which eventually became Acclaim Cheltenham. Um, so it's a British-made game, which is quite exciting. And there were multiple versions of Alien 3, which I didn't realise. It's another thing I don't like is that uh, enemies will <laughs> will attack you on spawn, which seems a bit much. Yeah, so this there's a SNES game which is completely different. There's a Game Boy game which is different. There's an arcade game I think which is different again. But yeah, they they really did the works for Alien Three, and I guess it's because you know Alien Aliens there weren't many platforms around for Alien. Well, Aliens really early, but Aliens, I think, was uh, still kind of too early for games like this. Getting off ladders is going to be a bit of a tricky thing as well. I'm trying to remember the layout of these levels, because... Again, it's been a while. The exit's down there, so I don't want to go down there just yet. Although jumping puzzles with very little clearance space feels pretty cheeky. Come on. At least you've got the radar at the top there, so once they've uh, emerged from the ground, you can see them come in a mile off. And you can shoot down the ladder, which I think also helps. Ah! Never out of energy again. <laughs> really good start screen as well. There's also a mass master system version of this, which actually is quite close. They're not all developed by Probe, obviously. They're uh, developed by various people, I think. But it's just interesting to see. Because I think in this day and age, yeah, you would get, you know, PSP and DS or iPhone versions of games that would be sort of similar, might be different, but they're not going to be vastly different. Whereas with Alien 3, you had all sorts of stuff going on. Um, and certainly that, that era had ended by the time we got Alien Resurrection, which was a just play either PlayStation PC or just PlayStation, but it was one game. It wasn't a whole raft of them. <laughs> A 
it's just it feels like trial and error which is the thing i don't like about it is you know i would much rather kind of get better at the gameplay rather than playing it by knowing where the aliens are probably going to spawn Oh, well, that's the first time I got hit, so I'll take that. Is there a survivor up here? Yeah, he is. Gotcha, you bugger. An alien down here as well, which is good. <laughs> as you can see, I'm running out of grenade launcher ammo because I like the grenade launcher. <laughs> so the exit is back down. This way, I believe. Yeah, I probably should actually show off some of the other weapons rather than just relying on the grenade launcher. Uh, no, it's time for the next one. So ironically, now that I know the, the level layouts, I'm blasting through them fairly quickly, but playing through this the first time, that was not the case. I'll also warn you, there's another uh, section here where an alien will attack you out of nowhere. The flamethrower is just as useful. <laughs> the other thing about the aliens in the vents is that they tend to just follow a pattern. That you can see him there. You can see his head poking through the other side of the screen. Private Entertainment uh, made a ton of games and actually we'll probably end up talking about them quite a bit because they not only did they make this, they made uh, Alien Trilogy, they made Die Hard Trilogy, uh, they, you know, they had a pretty good pedigree of licensed games behind their, uh, behind their name. Alright, this is the one I don't think I've actually finished, so let's see how far I can make it. See these jumps, there's very little clearance room. Oh, yeah, don't do that. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, God. The jumping is not my favourite thing about this game, I will say that. Hey, found another one. See, I... <laughs> I feel like those aliens aren't playing fair. Come on, come back up, I know you're there. You bastard. Switch our weapon again. I think grenades are probably my least favourite, just because they're quite difficult to actually achieve anything with. All the weapons have got kind of a visceral quality to them. They all sound pretty good. They they all have a useful purpose. As much as I will sit here and just use the grenade launcher as much as possible. Let's see. Again, I think asking asking you to platform jump is uh, with these controls is probably asking a bit much. <laughs> I I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say about that. Can't defend against aliens that fall from the sky. Great. Where am I? Oh. 
you just you kind of start getting a sense of like I every five or ten feet I better duck and fire. <laughs> this is not a particularly great place to be in. I'll give it another go. There is more music to this game. I actually the, the I've listened to the entire soundtrack. The soundtrack's awesome. It's my favourite thing about this game, for sure. Um, it's just got that kind of awesome Mega Drive FM synthesis stuff going on. So where did that alien come from? <laughs> is Alien 3 Dark Souls for the Mega Drive is that what we've discovered I don't think so but maybe it is it has got a lot of those kind of hallmarks of it feels super cheap the first time you play it but if you learn all the places it can go wrong I'd change your weapon I'm going to try and go back up here again, hoping I don't get hit by that alien. Oh, come on! That's... That's nasty. That's no good. Again, though, you'd have to know he was there to do that. That's the thing that infuriates me about it. Yeah. All power to the people who are able to finish this game, because I... God, my level of skill is not good enough for that. Come on. Ammo room, I like that. More of those, please. Could have some energy rooms, that'd be helpful. So that'll be the exit. Doesn't necessarily tell you that, but you can assume door on the edge of the screen. It's probably an exit. Which is unfortunate now, because I've wasted all that time getting down here. I need to discover I've got three more guys to rescue. Again, unless you want to wait for the platforms to fall down. You end up jumping for them and killing yourself. Uh, was there a guy down here? A guy there. Oh. That's Alien 3. I won't uh, subject you to any more of me badly playing Alien 3. Uh, it was mainly as a... I was just thought this game was super cool. I didn't play it at the time. Um, having only played it recently. And I, I don't think the movie's particularly brilliant. This might be the best thing about Alien 3, is <laughs> the game. Um, but yeah, in, in terms of these kinds of, kind of 2D licensed platformers, or 2D shooters, this is up there. This is pretty damn good, you know. I imagine once we get around to playing some of those Terminator games, and you know, those are not anywhere near as good as this. So that's Alien Three. Um, I can't wait to uh, to show more Alien games because there's some good ones. I mean, especially the ones that Probe Entertainment made are pretty good. Like Alien Three and Alien Trilogy. That's a good pedigree to to start with. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>